I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Vasco da Gama, the Portuguese explorer. I come right here at the top. And I put a little dot in the center and I'm going to draw a little curve line down on the left and a little curve line down on the right. Little curve line connect. Right underneath that I'm going to draw a curve line down on the left, curve line down on the right, little curve line over and connect. Starting right here on the left I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line down, curve line down and leave it floating come back up to the top curve line down curve line down curve line down and leave that floating come back to the left we're going to draw slightly curve line up over down and connect okay each indentation right here we're going to put one two curved lines come up one two curved lines come up one two curved lines on this side we're going to go one two curved lines one two curved lines okay right here on the left I put one curved line on the right I put another curved line underneath I put another curved line Curve line down, up, connect. On the right, curve line, curve line down, up, connect. Over here on the left, I'm just going to put a curve line and leave it floating. I come up on the left and I'm just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Come inside and now we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line in and leave that floating. Come right here in the center we're just going to draw a slightly curved line and underneath we're going to draw a curved line, curved line out, curved line, curved line up, connect and on the right curved line, curved line out, curved line, curved line, connect. Right underneath just draw me a slightly curved line. Come over here on the right hand side and right about here we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, connect. Now we can bring this curve line in, connect, and we can start over here on the right, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. If you have room, big curve line down on the left, big curve line down on the right. Come over here and we're just going to draw a wavy, 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 wavy line up and connect. If you have room, little curve line, curve line in on the right, curve line in on the left, curve line out, curve line down off the page, curve line out, curve line down off the page. If you have room, you can add little baby circle on the right, little baby circle on the left. Okay? Come over here on the left, draw a curve line down, curve line down, come on the right, curve line down, curve line down. Okay. I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, Va <clears throat> excuse me, Vasco. The Gama was Portuguese, so I'm going to give him, if you have multicultural crayons, I'm just going to fill in the white part of his face and give him a little bit of color. Now, if you don't have multicultural crayons, which a lot of you might not, just use your brown crayon and lightly go over that so he has a little bit of color. Now, he's going to be double colored a lot. Oops. And don't forget this section on the left, this is his ear. We are going to double color him a lot. And as an example, we'll do his eyes. 
brown. Okay, and then his beard. This is all hair, hairstyle, and beard. We'll do this all brown. This is all that. Bring this up a little bit. Okay, don't forget his mustache. So I'm going to do this first with one layer of brown. He was a pretty hairy guy. But then I'm going to come in with my black and I'm going to lightly go over his eyes and I'm going to do a loop-de-loop -loop over the brown to give him a little bit more texture with all this hair and beard and mustache. Not too dark, you don't want to lose your brown, but you do want to give him a little bit more color with the black. Okay? Now, since I have my black out, He's wearing like a black velvet hat, so I'm just going to do this all black, all the way up and over. You'll do a better job than me, as always. Okay, so this is all black. Now, here's the deal. I don't have metallics. So all of this section that I'm coloring yellow, like these stripes and this little part on the top, this is all gold. He was very well decked out. So every time you see yellow, like here on his collar, this is all gold. Okay, anything that's yellow is gold. If you have a metallic, you can use gold. Then, to give this a little bit more color, Again, this is all embroidered. So I'm starting on the right and I'm starting on the left with that outside curve. And I'm going to double color again. I put my color down first and then lightly go over it with the black. Because this is all embroidered with uh, gold threads, silver threads, very ornate. Then I come in and I do this section red. This was all red. And then I'm going to double color again this inside part. Whoops. I'm going to double color that with my light brown or apricot or peach. And then I'm going to double color over it with my red. And again, all of this is velvet and very fancy materials. Then, this is part of his cross. I'm just going to color this red if you have room. If you didn't do it, that's fine. And these little baby circles, those should be red. Okay. Now, in the background, I'm going to again take a neutral color like a beige or a brown or a tan. And I'm just going to color around him. Because this is a portrait, these were all painted. He came out in the Renaissance, so this probably is a pretty accurate example of what he looked like. Very important Portuguese explorer opened up the route to India on those little bitty ships they used to use. Okay, let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Vasco da Gama, Portuguese explorer, discovered the sea route from Europe to India, opened up the age of global imperialism, or some people say global discovery. Okay, bye-bye.